615 luxury rental we got the 2022 cadillac escalade esv about to go out on this first rental tomorrow it's just a short two-day rental then we got the range rover velour just came back about to get this one cleaned up because it goes back out on thursday if you notice most of our cars are either black or white and it's for specific reasons that we roll with black or white because with black or white we can blend in with the transportation community so we keep it simple and have those black and white because we always want to have multiple angles that we're able to rent these vehicles out so we can get placements for video shoots we can get placements for different movies that they're shooting out here in Atlanta which last year we actually made a little less than 45,000 off of renting vehicles out to production companies and to producers who are shooting films, videos, things of that nature. So don't think that the only thing that you can do is be subject to making money on Toro. You got private rentals. You got long-term rentals that I wouldn't suggest to do with these kind of cars. You want to do those with those economy cars, but your Uber, Lyft, Grubhub, Uber East drivers, things of that nature. So there's so many different ways to make money in this rental car game, but the first thing you got to do is get started, right? You start with one car, you test the water, and then you keep it moving. But another important thing is to have other streams of income just besides this. Last month in January had some tragic stuff happen. So we had to shut down majority of our businesses. And without reserves, we wouldn't have been able to sustain that. So it's important to always have some other streams of income going. And once you jump into this rental car game, or if you jump into something else and you start having some success, don't be quick just to abandon your day job. Keep that primary source of income. You punch somebody else's clock till you put yourself in a position to punch your own. So you keep that primary source of income until you feel comfortable enough to make that move. For me, I suggest having at least 18 months of income that could pay your bills. So that means you could go 18 months with breaking even because you got enough money to live. And then think about what your magic number is. A lot of people think being rich is having millions of dollars, financially free is what rich is so if it only takes you three or four thousand dollars to live all your bills are paid to have a little bit extra if you can get to five or six thousand dollars a month you're rich you're financially free if it costs you seven eight thousand dollars a month to live then you want to might want to get to ten eleven twelve thousand dollars but come up with two goals what's a short-term goal that will let you be financially free and then what's your long-term goal that you want to get to so you can ball like you one of them NBA players. I'm just I'm just kidding. But you know, we're back at it trying to get back in the sink of things. 615 luxury rental, 615 homes. I'm rich. You know the move. You know the move. Let's get it.